Good day. This is a second in a four-part video series analyzing Malawi's state of the environment and economic valuation of sustainable natural resource in Malawi reports. Just to recap, in the first program, we were highlighting the significant contribution of renewable natural resources in Malawi and how, if used sustainably, these can help reduce poverty, attain food security and economic growth, and facilitate the achievement of Malawi Growth and Development Strategy and Millennium Development Goals. In this video, we will particularly focus on forestry resources. Forestry resources are crucial in supporting livelihoods, infrastructure development, and energy in Malawi. Forests provide both wood and non-wood products like honey, fodder, and thatching grass. Forests are also important for soil and water conservation for agriculture and household use, provision of animal habitat, for beautification of the countryside, enhancement of ecotourism, and for regulation of climate change. However, little of this massive contribution is captured in gross domestic product estimates. While official reports put the contribution of forestry resources at 1.8%, this percentage is an understatement as the contribution is much more significant than that. To justify this, the 2009 Malawi BEST study estimates that wood fuel alone accounts for an additional 4.3% of annual GDP. The forestry sector employs around 29,000 people on a full-time basis. Additionally, 130,000 people are employed in the forestry-related industry on a full-time basis. Firewood is crucial for household energy in Malawi. 95 out of every 100 people in rural areas use firewood. In urban areas, 55 out of every 100 people use firewood and charcoal. However, forestry resources are degrading faster. The principal reason for forest degradation is agricultural expansion due to population growth. However, forest degradation for fuel wood, namely firewood and charcoal, is a significant problem in the catchment areas surrounding Lilongwe, Blantyre, Limbi, and Zomba. The annual costs of excess roundwood use for firewood and charcoal in these major catchment areas is estimated at 6.1 billion Malawi kwacha. Where forest resources have been degraded, people resort to cutting down trees. If we exclude wood that is used for fuel, the removal of round wood faster than it grows costs Malawi 3.1 billion kwacha each year. Realizing the challenges that have come about as a result of unsustainable utilization of sustainable natural resources, including forestry resources, the government of Malawi is implementing the Malawi Poverty and Environment Initiative, MPEI, with support from the Global Poverty and Environment Initiative of the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP. With guidance from the Ministry of Economic Planning and Development, the government of Malawi undertook a study on economic valuation of sustainable natural resource use in Malawi. The aims of the study were to improve contribution of sustainable management of natural resources in order to reduce poverty, attain food security and economic growth, provide evidence on costs and benefits of sustainable and unsustainable natural resource management in Malawi. 
facilitate the achievement of Malawi Growth and Development Strategy and Millennium Development Goals. The report findings recommended that several interventions need to be undertaken to tackle forest degradation and deforestation which have come as a result of excess demand for wood fuel resources around the country's major urban areas. Intervention number one, increasing the supply of wood fuel. Let us go to Sante in Kasung where we will analyze a model that aims at reducing poverty by increasing local production of fuel wood, timber, and poles through planting woodlots on community as well as individual member farms. This initiative by Total Land Care has been engaging the community in reforestation. The tree planting intervention is one component among three components that Total Land Care uses. There are efforts to replenish the Vipia Plateau that has lost trees due to logging and forestry fires. Here farmers with financial support from the European community in the Income Generating Public Works program are given monetary incentives to plant trees. After five years, the trees are ready to be harvested and farmers get their energy needs as well as generate income from the trees. This sustainable use of natural resources has tremendously made a difference in the lives of people from the Sante area. It has also benefited the environment. So far, Sante area in Kasungu has been transformed. Second intervention is the options and payments for more sustainable charcoal production. It is estimated that with rapid urbanization, the demand for charcoal will double in the next 15 years. Therefore, any successful strategy for tackling deforestation will have to address how to produce and market charcoal from sustainably grown wood. The current policy of banning charcoal production from protected areas has not worked. It encourages inefficient and illicit charcoal making, produces incentives for corruption, and above all, deprives the government of Malawi of tax revenue. Another sustainable use of forestry resources is the promotion of ecotourism as evidenced in activities undertaken by the communities around Nika National Park and Zomba Plateau. In Nika, People from the surrounding communities benefit from the forestry resources there. They mow and sell the grass that is used to thatch the structures there. They also use the forest to gather mushrooms as well as harvest honey. In Zomba, people from areas surrounding Zomba Plateau pay a fee to access the forest where they collect dead wood and twigs to use as firewood. They also collect wild fruits and mushrooms which they sell and generate income. It is not surprising that Zomba Plateau is one of the biggest tourist attractions in Malawi. People flock there to see the beauty of the flora and fauna. Another area where forestry resources are benefiting people is the area in Mulanje. Mulanje is known for many notable things. The most outstanding is the Mulanje Massif, the third largest mountain in southern Africa. This mountain is home to Mulanje cedar, a unique tree that grows nowhere else in the world. Mulanje cedar is a relatively soft wood and has a sweet aroma. The people from around Mulanje harvest dead cedar and make chest boxes, picture frames and other products. As the population of Malawi continues to grow, it will continue exerting pressure on natural resources, especially forests. This due in part to a need of increased agricultural activities and need for firewood 
and charcoal. It is only when we balance the rate at which we are using and replenishing natural resources that the environment will be able to sustain us.